it's your boy Elf Camera TV, and I'm here with another episode of Lights of Camera Action. And I have a very special guest, um, a YouTuber I have done a video with, um, and you know, a personal friend of mine, Liberty Life. Say what's up. What's up, guys? So um, today we're talking about a topic that um, most people don't really talk about. Well, they do talk about it if you're in the community. But we're, we're going to be talking about UFOs. Um, so there's been a lot of information that's been going on with the UFO community. Um, whereas uh, the Navy has said they've been seeing ships, they've been seeing you know, unidentified flying objects. Um, you know, you've got people saying that you know, UFOs will be here by the end of the year. Uh, there's reports coming out that saying that the gas that's on Venus is, you know, able to sustain life. So, with all this UFO stuff going on, Liv, what do you think? Um, what is what, what do you what do you get from this? Do you do you believe in aliens? Do you think this is an actual thing, or is this something that uh, you know they're coming up with, or just trying to you know distract us from something else? Well. Uh... With UFOs, I think, I oh mean, I got so many thoughts on this. Like, I was thinking about it a lot. There could be, I mean, like, there's, I have, like, three different theories in my mind about UFOs. Okay, like, one would be, um, like, what if it's just a bunch of, like, realities, like, coming together of us in different lives or dimensions, you know? That's one theory. Like, uh, a further... You know a future of us coming back and we're now we're like so advanced that we're actually accidentally running into us i do understand maybe like a multiverse where they're so uh highly advanced that they're just interacting with their i guess primitive selves in right sense. yeah like um, uh, I, th I think that's uh definitely a possibility my mindset is with the whole ufo thing like okay so first of all i definitely think ufos are real the reason why i think they're real is because i've always looked at it like this when i was a kid you know like okay well there's nothing out there but space and dust. And I was like, and I was like all, these, all these planets and all these solar systems and all these galaxies that stretches on infinitely. I was like, if I was a creator, and I was like, okay, so let's, let's, let's look at it from the God perspective. I was like, okay, if you believe in God and everything like that, if I was a God, why would I create all this real estate, all this land to pay any, any money more and pick a planet to put yeah. black on? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I've always thought like that there is a, a being or there's beings out there, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, what is all you pass for? Like just to have dust and wind on it? It didn't make, it didn't make sense to me. If I was creating anything, I wouldn't like create a town and just put one person in one house and that would be it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just never made sense to me. But like for me, like you said, it could be a situation where it's a multi-person. It could be a situation where, you know what I'm saying, uh, things, it, you know, it could be anything. Like some people have the idea that Literally, and this, this is a, a way I thought that every planet has their own race on it. Some people think that, you know, what I'm saying like this difference, uh, America's like, you know, Earth is like America, the melting pot where every race is on there, but let's say every planet has their own race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe the black people on this race, or uh, the white people on this race, or, you know, planet, and all that. Yeah. There's that mindset. There's also a mindset like, do you think it's going to be little brain men or do you think it's going to be like humanoid? Like, that's my well, question. I mean, we live in Florida, right? So, like, if you, I mean, it's like, you can even go to like a, a let's say, like, I went to, uh, what was it, Sam's Club with my wife recently. Mm -hmm. And I seen like a lady picking up a watermelon and smacking it, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, that is not the same species as I am. Because that's ridiculous. Like, is it, you could go to like a, a regular store and see people that you're like, how can I relate to that person? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, we might even be among other species of us on this planet. Or, you know, like like you said, the real estate is tremendous. Like, it's, it, like it, it doesn't make sense that we're the only thing and that's it. Exactly. I think we love to be important, which exactly. is probably why we're doing this YouTube, you know, and stuff. <laughs> because because yeah, we you know, want to be... Maybe we're just egotistical. Yeah, like... <laughs> But naturally, we're egotistical. Like, even if you drive in your car, right? You go, you have to go faster. You have to get to that red light before the other person. For what instinct is that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But I just think that out of the whole world, like, it's a scary thought to think that there's other things out there besides us. We, we probably want to think that it's just us. But it's too big. There's got to be other things out there. And 
I mean, there's species of things that we find on our own planet that we never seen. And when you go like farther away, like when like we live here, so we're in a closed environment. But like when I used to drive a truck out west, I mean, it's so open. You feel like you're on a planet. You yeah. know you're on Earth, and it's huge, yeah. you know. But here, it's a little bit like of a smaller mindset because we have the store here, we have this there, we got the beach. We just see the small things. But yeah. when you're traveling across the country in you know, open plains, you say like, "Wow, this is like such a beautiful country." How is it we're so small-minded to think that it's just us, you know? See, my my thing with that is also this, right? Um, like you said, I, you know, I think we only know our discovered. I think like eighty. I think it's like eighty-five percent of the ocean that we haven't yet tapped into. Yeah. And so it's, it's like we bigger. don't have we don't have yeah. enough information on our own planet. Yeah. And you're seeing it saying that there's yeah. nothing out there. So my thing is, it's always been uh, fishy to me. So my question is this, right? So, okay, there's been the moon landing. You know, back in you know years ago, whatever they videotaped the moon landing, whatever all that. Um and. Now they're saying that there is aliens, and people have been speculating that there's been aliens for years. NASA and everybody always been like, "Nah, you guys are crazy, you're tripping." So my question is this: If there, if there was, if there is aliens, right? Why did they keep it on the wraps for so long? Was it, was it because they thought? Because I think it, it could be two things. I think it's either control or fear. I think control that control with the fact that okay, we want to dictate the information that goes to the people. Or fear that if the people find out there's a higher power, maybe they are, or just a higher being in general, or whatever alien, whatever you want to call it, um, they might not be able to handle it, or they might, you know, see them as deities or anything like that. So, what do you think about that? Well, I think if you look at things that happened in 2020, like as us as people, we're afraid of different things. You know, even our own cultures. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so imagine now you have a whole completely different thing that's not even a racial difference. It's a planet difference. So it's like, if we can't even get along with each other, how would we act with a different species coming from a different planet? A lot of people instantly go to fear. You know what I mean? So like, fear causes panic. Panic causes destruction. Bad things happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's for our own good like we're in the government size it's almost like protecting the children because that's why they have like speed limits and seat belts and if they didn't have that probably more people would die because you know people don't think about these things until it's already too late you know see that that is an interesting perspective because you see it as okay maybe they're just protecting us from things that we can't comprehend or we can't really control and the question i, I have with uh the whole idea is okay so that I think that's that's a possibility that like you said, um, they can just we as people because obviously we've been in a situation where we see how humans can act in general. You know what I'm saying? We're very uh, fear based. Like the uh, those Salem witch trials, we were just you know witch hunted everybody. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. witch! You burn her at the stake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she, did, used she, she did. She did. You know what I'm saying? Easy with a little yeah. cardboard like burn her. Yeah. It's something up, right? Right? She can do a hula hoop dance better than me. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> She's a witch. So uh, which is funny. Um, well, it's not funny, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But um, so my question is this, right? So with the whole uh, alien species thing. So we all know what's going on on this planet and the racial issues and everything like that, right? So my question is, do you think that maybe because aliens or UFOs will be coming, do you think it will unify the world? So my question, I, I keep on telling like maybe, maybe if you know there was an outside force, it would unify everybody on planet. Instead of, instead of being okay, white, black, Asian, black, you know, Spanish, whatever, it would be human versus. Alien, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you think that would happen, or how do you think that would play out if, if we got introduced to the alien species? Just from observing, like how things are now, I would say like, um, F, it depends how bad it is. You know what I mean? Like it, that's what it has to be the category of badness. If it's a little bit bad, maybe nobody will care. You know, um, unless it gets like TikTok feeds. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. You know, they could do a dance with an alien, but uh, if it's like where it's so bad that if we don't join together, we will die as a species. Um, I think it would have to be like that close for us to be forgetting about our own differences. And even then, there are some people that are stubborn enough not to forget either way, you know? And that's that's the thing too, and like you said, like, I think that would have to be the catalyst. It had to be like, okay, you guys need to wipe out. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, this is gonna be obliterated. 